Welcome back to the channel. You know what it is. Fungi film reviews. Today, what we're taking a look at is just a little sneak peek into the merging the timelines bigger video that I'm going to be doing. I thought that it would be interesting if I just kind of dropped a little bit of tidbits. So you kind of have an idea of where we're going with all this and to explain the grander point, which is everything is connected. They always want to try to tell you the people on the internet, the so-called Final Fantasy seven truthers who know everything about Final Fantasy seven. I know Kung Fu. They try to always insult your intelligence. Oh, how are they doing that? Because they try to make you believe that anything that they say is canon and anything that you think is head cannon. We're gonna be debunking that like we debunk everything on this channel. And what we're gonna be taking a look at today is a very particular scene where it shows us that before Crisis is canon to the story in Final Fantasy VII R series. Now, most of you will disagree with that. I know a lot of people who played before Crisis will argue that some of the Turks don't show up in any other of the games or any of the movies except for Last Order, but Last Order is not canon and people never really say why it's not, what parts are, what parts aren't. But listen, I'm gonna give you undeniable proof. My logic is undeniable. That before Crisis is canon. You ready for it? Let's check it out. So what I want to talk about today is something pretty simple, and it's the idea that Before Crisis is canon. What could kind of make me have the idea that Before Crisis is canon? And the simple fact is that they're using elements from Before Crisis to bring into Remake. The one timeline theory, merging of the timelines. That's where all this comes from. It's not just me in my head. I just making things up to make a channel and a, and a YouTube videos. It's because I start to see things that a lot of people I find aren't paying attention to. So today I'm going to show you exactly where that is. And we're going to start off with nobody other than President Shinra. In Before Crisis, we have this story about essentially the Turks and how they run and how they work with different groups and how, why they're seeking and why they're so valuable to uh, Shinra. And in the original game, what we find out is that Avalanche is run by a different group of people and President Shinra wants to destroy Avalanche because they're a military terrorist organization from Wutai. Now, we know that Shinra, Wutai, Midgar, and Wutai have been at war for a long time. Shinra wants to obviously go and build their factories to extract Mako. Wutai's like, nah, you ain't doing that over here. Huge war ensues. Sephiroth gets sent out and you'll... And Jill gets sent out. Zack gets sent out. Genesis. A month ago, he went missing during a mission in Wutai. The mission is currently stuck in limbo. That's why we've decided to send you. Uh, to Wutai? Yes. This war has gone on long enough. I've recommended huh? you for first. <laughs> oh, and Jill! I love you, man! And Jill! Uh, Don't make me regret this, Zack. All that kind of Genesis gets sent out. All that kind of stuff happens. We know that Glenn was over there when the war happened because of the Ever Crisis trailers. <laughs> and we know that Sephiroth was looking for Genesis at the kind of onset of that entire war, trying to figure out what exactly is going on. And that's what kind of dawned on me when I started thinking like, are these all happening at the same time? How come it's so unclear what's happening and what's not happening? So do you a favor, I decided to untangle the timeline to make it make very simple sense. So in the game before Crisis, President Shinra is going to make a broadcast on national television in Junon. He's going to make the broadcast because Avalanche has started doing a whole bunch of terrorist activities, and he's looking to make a broadcast to the people to kind of restore public sentiment. 
you have to understand that the people of Midgar, the people of Junon, the people who all support Shinra, they all want to make sure that whoever they're supporting has their backs, has they're looking out for them, the government is taking care of them. And when you have a kind of a terrorist organization roaming around doing activities, it's not going to garner a lot of support from the people. So we find ourselves in Junon. President Shinra is scheduled to make an address to the people and Avalanche has infiltrated the city. So as Avalanche is infiltrating the city, one of their leaders, Elfie, runs into Sephiroth and they get into a fight. Who wins? Another video. But while that fight's happening and while Avalanche has their soldiers throughout the city, what they do is they send their second in command to go and fight and assassinate President Shinra before he's able to broadcast his message of calmness and to reassert the citizens of Midgar and Junon that, hey, Shinra, we got it under control. But things don't go that well for President Shinra as he gets shot in the chest. Damn! And we obviously know he survives because of the events of Final Fantasy VII. But the important part here is that this is actually referenced in Remake, not once, but twice. So when I tell you they're merging the timelines and everything they're doing is to make the story one congruent story, you have to be with the one timeline theory. So right now we're going to check out a couple of these videos and let me know what you think about them because I already know what I think about them. They're just telling us the story and the old story that was before Crisis is being merged into Crisis Core, which is then being merged into Final Fantasy VII R series. And it's all going to be part of one story, one timeline. Let's check it out. All right, so right here where we're at is we just blew up the reactor and we're on the train. The initial train, this is Final Fantasy VII Remake. It's the initial train and we're going to see exactly what happens with the discussion that's going on between the Shinra employees. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? The answer to that is yes. Yes, they are. They tried to assassinate the president in Before Crisis. Now, I wouldn't say, hey, I have a strong argument unless it would be repeated by somebody else, somebody with a little bit more authority than the Shinra employees. Do we have that? These sewer rats appear to call themselves avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. Hmm. Now, you have to ask yourself, why would they say that? We're trying to see if this avalanche group is part of the same avalanche group that attempted the assassination on your life. Now... This is going to have to be for another video, but you need to understand that if they're bringing this concept over to the Final Fantasy VII R series, you need to understand that Elfie, aka Felicia, very important, the leader of Avalanche, the true Avalanche, okay? Sears, her second in command, Fujito, her third in command, and then after there's going to be a break between these guys where Fajito's going to go and do his own thing and make an Avalanche B. And... Then we have our group of eco-terrorists in Midgar. Let's just call them Avalanche C. But this shows us there's multiple different areas of Avalanche that are bridged from Wutai that are now in the game. And I wanted to show you very specifically one more part where they speak about the multiple groups of Avalanche. Let's check it out. Let's see if there is other Avalanche squads that wear the exact same Let's clothing right. as before Crisis Avalanche members. Who's this? Down with Shinra. Down with Shinra. 
Exact same brown Glad outfits. Glad yours is. Which means not ours, yours. And let's see what Biggs tells Cloud right as they escape this little area. Wedge will be fine, but you won't be if they start asking questions. Why wouldn't Cloud be okay if the Avalanche members started asking questions? Because the original Avalanche group from before Crisis, their main cause is to destroy everything Shinra. So they would see Cloud as a soldier, as an abomination, and they would want to get rid of him. That's why Big says that. And who are they? First guests to the party, another avalanche cell. Our holier-than-thou friends from the old guard. <laughs> it's always their way or the highway. Lately, they've been a real pain in the ass. Till now. So then why are they here? Beats me. We've been on the outs ever since our cell got labeled too extreme. Though they're the ones running around with mil-spec gear. Where it is, they cut a deal with Wu-Tai. Promised them all the materia in Midgar, apparently. Think there's any truth to that? You tell me. Sometimes, I think we're the only ones who've realized the war's over. This is kind of where I want to introduce a lot of the new concepts that are going to be coming in upcoming videos. Who's Avalanche? Who's Fajito? Who's Sears? Who's Elfie slash Felicia? Who runs the Turks? Because a lot of the merging the timeline information is going to require a little bit more depth into the whole Final Fantasy VII lore. So that's it for today's video. Just to give you a little sneak peek of what the merging the timelines videos are going to be about. They're going to be about how the old games that are canon before Crisis, Crisis Core, Last Order, <laughs> Final Fantasy VII R, Final Fantasy VII OG, and how they're merging them all into one timeline. Heard it here first. Agree, disagree. Let me know in the comments. I can't wait to hear you try to debunk that before Crisis is being brought into this game to make it one full canon because there's more to come from before Crisis, from Crisis Core, whether you like it or not. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's argue about it in the comment sections. Talk to you guys later.